Yo! What is up guys? It has been a long time since I've made a video. I've, uh, I've been itching to make one, struggling to think of ideas, and it finally dawned on me. Why not make a video on how I wash my car? I had a detail in my car. Since getting my detail, I've spent a little bit of time and done some research on how to better improve the quality. I just more or less wanted to show you my washing process. People's opinions can vary a ton in this topic and I'm not looking to get into all that. It's all about the socks and slides too, guys. If, you're, uh, if your feet ain't wet, you ain't doing it right. Woo, there she is. If you already did follow me before, whether on Instagram or YouTube, have done some changes since the last video. Obviously you can see I've gotten some new wheels. Pretty stoked on those. But anyways, so some of the new gear that I've got, new spray gun, pretty slick, foam cannon, wheel brushes, two buckets, as you can see, I've started to accumulate some decent supplies. Today, what we are going to use, so I actually just bought this. I've only used it once. It smells amazing. We're gonna use that on the wheels. We'll use this good stuff. Lots of good reviews on this. Foams up really nicely. Then I think for the shampoo, I am just gonna use this. All pH balanced stuff, by the way. So all things that are not going to be harmful to any coatings, um, any uh, sealants that you have on top of your paint. I also understand that my car probably doesn't look very dirty in video. It, it honestly isn't even that dirty in real life. I've got a bunch of new power washing equipment, so I want to I wanna use it. Then this is the power washer I'll be using. I still have barely used it. I've only tested it out. It's the uh, K1700 Karcher. This is the original wand that I had for it. Obviously, it's been upgraded with this guy. Anyways, let's uh, pull the car out and get this started. and sudsy. I also, um, I like to use warm water. Um, I just find it nicer on the hands and I feel like maybe if anything, the soap suds up a little more with it. So I am gonna go around and rinse off the wheels and then we will apply our wheel cleaner. This stuff smells like bubble gum. It is so strong. It's 
So first I like to use uh, this guy to kind of get it in the barrels and then kind of just on the sides of the spokes. And then that's what I'll take this little brush and do like around the lug nuts and the face of the wheel. And lastly, if you can reach it, just try and maybe do a little bit of the, uh, the caliper. If you feel like it needs it. And then also if your tire, my tire is not that dirty, but if it is, you can actually use that cleaner on your tire as well. And then just get some kind of scrubbing pad and just kind of go around the tire and agitate it a little bit. Last thing you might want to do is I just get like a, like a rag. Get around, get in around the edge of the wheel well. I'm gonna go ahead, do the exact same thing to the back wheel, and then uh, spray them off. Okay, so one side done, can you go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side? And, um, yeah. Time to rinse. That is so much better. So next what we'll do is we're gonna rinse out this bucket, get out all this dirty water, and then we're gonna refill this one with just water. That'll be our rinse bucket. And then this one is going to be our soap bucket. And another good thing to make sure is that you have these grit guards at the bottom of your buckets. Those can help a bunch prevent the uh, wash mitt from just sitting in there, sitting in dirt, getting the dirt under your mitt and then onto your paint. In the soap bucket, we are going to use the same auto wash shampoo that I put in the uh, bucket for the wheels. And so we'll get both these buckets ready, filled up, fill up this foam cannon. And the foam cannon, I'm going to be using the Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam. This is pretty much the best stuff that I've found. I mean, other people might have a different opinion. From what I've seen, this stuff is like the go-to stuff. Um, it works really well. I haven't actually tested it out with the electric washer. I've only really used it with the uh, gas, so we'll see how that works. And also, just on another note, um, I'm no expert when it comes to the amount that we should be putting in here. I know a lot of guys, when you see people filling up their foam cannon, they end up filling it up to like all the way. I think that's a huge waste. Probably end up putting somewhere around like one or two ounces of this soap in, and then I might only fill the container like up to here with some warm tap water. Um, that's all I need to foam an entire car, anything else, and I feel like it's just kind of wasteful. So that's what I'm gonna do. Shake it up a little bit more. This stuff, by the way, I find it is way more affordable if you buy the full gallon. It's like, I know in Canada, it's like 40 bucks for a full gallon, and then one of these bottles are like 15. So definitely recommend the big jug. And uh, yeah, hopefully we get some good sudsy foam and I can show you what uh, the electric washer can do. Otherwise, it's not going to look very good. So, as you can see, I now have my soap and water solution. Just enough to where I should be able to foam the entire car with it without wasting too much product. 
Um, yeah, so let's uh, hook this all up and see how it goes. I'll make sure you kind of switch that around. Make sure the soap and water is uh, well mixed. And then what I also like to do is on whatever wash mitt you have, a little bit more on the wash mitt and just wipe it off. Just like so. Now I'm gonna froth up this soapy water with the warm tap as well. Fill my other bucket up with just uh, normal water. Normal water. <laughs> so to start things off, we're just going to give the car a little bit of a pre-rinse. Um, it helps just like knock off any loose dirt. And then we'll go ahead and foam can in. And we'll let it sit for probably maybe three, four minutes and then we'll start washing. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All the quick connects are so convenient, and we're ready to go. I maybe could have gone a little more, but that was pretty much perfect. So, uh, note for next time. A little bit of a walk around, just so you can see the quality. Not too bad at all. And so of course now my camera's gonna die because why wouldn't it? Um, but as you can see, foam worked out really, really well. Um, and I could probably even improve it to be honest. I haven't quite figured out the perfect mix and balance between foam and water. So um, still got some kinks to work out there, but overall really good quality and especially from like an electric washer You cannot go wrong with that $150 washer well, Anyways, like I said before just gonna let the soap uh, kind of drip off the car help kind of pull some of the dirt off the paint then I will take my Rinse and wash bucket and we'll give the car a full wash kind of top to bottom ensuring that you uh, make sure to rinse out your wash mitt um, every so often, don't go too far without rinsing it, just in case it's picked up any dirt or rocks in it. Uh, and my camera looks like it's gonna die, so I might charge the battery really quickly, start washing the car. Right, guys so just finished um, drying my car actually uh, I apologize that this video is kind of choppy um, I'm fighting a battery that wants to keep dying so um, lesson learned next time I definitely need to buy an extra battery I ended up using this uh, 
Car Pro microfiber towel. It works really well. It kind of has a side that you can use on glass and then another side for the, uh, the paint. But yeah, check this out. Car's looking pretty good. A little too bright to even see, but drying your car is a huge plus. Anytime you don't dry it, you get the worst water spots. And if you have shade uh, available to you, try and make use of it. It'll help uh, help allow you to dry the car um, out of the sun so the, the water doesn't dry too quickly. Um, the last step I would do, get yourself one of these little foam applicator pads. And I am using this one in particular, Auto Obsessed um, Tire uh, Dressing. And it's actually the uh, satin finish. And highly recommend the satin. If you're like me, I absolutely hate the look of super glossy tires. This keeps your tires looking nice and black, but not so glossy. Um, the satin finish works really well, I find. Take a nice soft microfiber towel, finish by drying off the wheels, and then maybe just lightly dry the tire, um, just because you want the tire to be dry before you apply this. And then all I would do is just spray a little bit onto my foam applicator pad, and then just gently go around the edges of the tire. And uh, yeah, I don't think I needed to really do it this time, just because my last wash I used this, and it, it's usually good for probably one or two. It's pretty much, Pretty much it, that's the extent of uh, what I would do for a car wash. Definitely let me know if you guys have any advice or any other options or any other products that you guys like to use. Um, I'd definitely like to hear it. Maybe I can try it out. And by all means, if you guys have any other questions, any questions regarding the equipment I use. Um, also, I will be making another video. I actually wanna do an in-depth video on everything I've done to the car. So all the modifications I've made and uh, just maybe a little bit of an update since my last video because it has been quite a while since I've filmed anything. There has been some changes to the car since then. Um, but yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, definitely let me know. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video.